More election coverage now. A brand new poll in the Democratic primary for Rhode Island governor reveals a new front runner. 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi has been digging into the numbers and joins us now with the results. Ted. This poll is the first survey in the Democratic primary for governor since our exclusive 12 News Roger Williams University poll last month. And it has good news for two of the leading Democratic candidates. It's now a three-way race in the battle to be Rhode Island's Democratic nominee for governor. The Boston Globe and Suffolk University surveyed 353 likely Democratic primary voters. The poll finds Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea on top in the race for governor with 24 percent. Incumbent Dan McKee in second place with 20 percent and former CVS executive Helena Folks rising to third place with 17 percent. But 31 percent of voters are still undecided. A lot of voters are undecided, which means there's a wide open primary right now. 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming says the biggest development in the race since our poll in early May is folks going on the air with a big TV advertising campaign introducing herself to voters. Dan McKee has not gained anything. He has lost ground. It looks like Helena Folks has grabbed votes from Dan McKee and not Nellie Gorbea, which people thought she would. Uh, Nellie's numbers are almost exactly what we had in the Channel 12 poll. Right now I would say she's the front runner, but it's within the margin of error. Separately, the new poll surveyed all Rhode Island voters about Governor McKee. 40% approve of McKee's job performance, while 38% disapprove, but 22% have no opinion. It tells me people are not zeroing in on Dan McKee at this point, that one out of five voters cannot give an opinion of the type of job he's doing, which goes to what we're saying, why undecided so high in a lot of these races, because voters in Rhode Island right now are not zeroing in on this election. Speaking to reporters Monday, McKee downplayed the numbers. Polls come and go, uh, and uh, the, the campaign has just started, uh, and we expect that There'll be, um, you know, cycles that we'll go through, but we're building up the momentum. The winner of the Democratic primary is expected to face Republican Ashley Kalis in November. Coming up, will Rhode Islanders send a Republican to Congress for the first time in years this November? I'll have those results new at 6. Ted Nisi, 12 News. 12 News is your local election headquarters. A brand new poll is taking the temperature of Rhode Island voters. As we first reported at 5, the Boston Globe Suffolk University survey shows Nellie Gorbea leading the Democratic primary for governor with 24%, followed by Dan McKee at 20% and Helena Folks at 17%. But 31% of voters are undecided. New at 6, what the poll reveals about Rhode Island's open race for Congress. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi has the findings and analysis. Democrats have won every election for U.S. House in Rhode Island since 1992, but the new poll suggests this could be the year Republicans break that streak. Ever since Rhode Island Congressman Jim Langevin made the surprise announcement he would retire rather than seek re-election, Democrats have been nervous they could lose his seat this fall. A new poll from the Boston Globe and Suffolk University shows why. The survey of 423 likely voters in the 2nd Congressional District finds Republican and former Cranston Mayor Alan Fung on top with 45 percent, ahead of Democrat and General Treasurer Seth Magaziner at 39 percent. 17 percent of voters are undecided in a Fung-Magaziner matchup. This shows it's a competitive race at this point. 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming says he expects Fung to focus his message on the economy and inflation, while Democrats play up the Supreme Court's decision to eliminate the constitutional right to abortion. Alan Fung right now is in a nice position. It's going to help him raise money. There's no question he'll use this for fundraising. He has to now capitalize on it because the Democrats are going to come after him with everything once his campaign starts. Before Magaziner can face Fung, he needs to defeat five challengers for the Democratic nomination. The Globe Suffolk poll surveyed 172 likely Democratic primary voters in the 2nd District. Magaziner was well ahead at 30%. Joy Fox and David Siegel trailed behind at 8% each, while 43% of primary voters were undecided. Three other candidates were in single digits. Fleming says the dynamic in the primary hasn't changed since our 12 News Roger Williams University poll in early May. They were all in single digits. He's up in the low 30s, uh, 22 points, a lot of points to make up. You have to come up with an issue that can motivate the voters and excite the voters to vote for you. So far, none of these other candidates have done that. One thing to keep in mind, early voting for the primary starts on August 24th, so candidates have less than two months to get their message out before the first ballots are cast. Ted Nisi, 12 News.